Hi, I'm Dr. Romanov and we decided to put on the website forum um, some help uh, in as a short video clips uh, in particular today. It's about the plantar fasciitis, uh, which is a very hot topic as uh, we see uh, how much people interested on this topic and how much people would like to have solution for this uh, problem. It's really a problem because uh, basically every runner had some small or bad experience with this kind of injury. I try to explain the simplicity of biomechanical appearance of this injury and it's uh, just a contradiction of forces which we're applying to the same mechanical or anatomical but to say tissues which is in this case um, our plantar fascia it's a big tendon from heel bone to the metatarsalis bones at a for a foot so I'll try to show you how to avoid this injury and uh, do something to start the healing process but you have to remember from beginning that healing is uh, just a proper movement by itself so if you would like to heal something you have to move proper and don't rely on some something else because it will be a wrong thing because the reason will be not get rid of it. it will be still there first of all proper movement and proper movement is uh, in pose method you have to have very specific action structure and this action is pulling foot from the ground and nothing else rest it happen as recoiling effect and gravity work you must not add to this anything else let's see how it's happening I am showing you on the foot how it's happening when you, your foot on the ground like that and then you produce this kind of movement you see this is how your calf muscles are tense and heel goes up and it's a voluntary a very powerful seems like motion which is supposed to push you forward which is very very wrong understanding the reality of the movement in reality a foot should be very passive and goes through this motion as a rolling process there are no efforts when you fall like that you see here there is no efforts on the calf muscles and no efforts applied to the foot to do this thing which I am demonstrating now so you have to completely avoid this thing it's a very passive process of going forward so what you have to do now you have to start work with this small group of muscles in different directions which one is uh, difficult to predict which one is not working which is supposed to work to support this arch of the foot where the trouble is happening so what we have to do now <clears throat> we are going you see this very simple thing it's exercise for your feet where the load now start on your feet directly you see here here this is exercise which you have to go going to do on a daily base then when you do this exercise after that it should be done very small bouncing like that because you have to implement local uh, muscles work with integrating this effect to the whole movement and even in this position you have to learn do not do this thing do not do this thing when you jump hop first like that you see there is no 
food producing this kind of movement you know there is no efforts of pointing feet your feet always in neutral position with my palm I am pushing my toes on the <clears throat> dorsal flexion direction and then on this point where final point or <clears throat> extreme point of dorsal flexion I'm doing now kind of slight push off with resistance with my hand you will feel it how it affect your plantar fascia this is what first thing you, you can do now so my best uh, wishes for you and uh, enjoy your running thank you